Voxo tutorial for beginners how to use Voxo online video editor. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this software to create our own videos for our Instagram, YouTube, e-commerce and so on. So Voxo provides us the opportunity to do this. In order to get started we need to visit their website voxo.tech and here click on sign up so we'll continue. Uh, to create our account we can create it from scratch or just use our gmail or facebook i'm going to continue with google as for me this is the most suitable variant so here just choose the necessary account after that we'll come to our home page basically in the left side we can find our videos our widgets templates assets tutorials and so on also, we'd like uh, to find all of our projects here in the bottom of the screen. In the top of the screen, we can find different video tools, widgets, pricing and about. Basically, we can also upgrade our plan or find our account settings here. So we can create different ideas using AI or just go to template to video to find different templates. As you can see now on this page, we can uh, switch between different categories we'd like to use, like what to do, festivals, real estate and so on. So basically there are a lot of them. We can also go to video tools and go to sheet to tools basically to find some templates right up here. There are a lot of different categories, for example, e-commerce and so on. So if you'd like to create like ad, you can use these templates here. I'm going to show you how can we deal with it. Basically, we need to click and choose it. As you can see, now only one object is selected, only one video. So you can, uh, we can just even choose more and more. For example, three is right up here. So after that, we can click on a new project and we'll continue to go to this editing page. Also, we can switch to templates back in the left side and add some more templates we'd like to use. But let's go to editing videos. And as you can see, our page is divided into two different parts with our like spreadsheet about this video and also like video editor here. So what is interesting is that this spreadsheet describes all the videos. So as you can see, there is like every scene is described it, scene one, scene two, scene three and so on. And what is pretty cool that we can customize every single part by simply clicking on our uh, spreadsheet like cell here. For example, we can change the background for the first video right up here by simply clicking on media and then just choose it from the stock library here or we can upload our own like video if we need so let's try to change something here and as you can see we can click on apply and in a few seconds our background will be successfully changed which is pretty cool so i'm going to change the title in the same way so let it be like helper man tutorial tutorial let it be like this so now as you can see our first sound was successfully like customized what can we do also is that we can use our editor to add some more changes. For example, we can simply click on our like more button here and we can customize every single part. For example, for this text, we can change the font size, text style, text shadow, text stroke. I'm going to change the background color for this. I think I'm going to click on accept and apply and as you can see it was successfully changed right up here. So we can also add something for our tutorial part or do some other stuff. Basically it's pretty cool as for me I think that you know we can change it in two different options. So uh, we can also switch to another part here to the second uh, tab and as you can see let's also change some media. I'm going to use uh, this one here I'm going to click on apply and it will be successfully changed. Also, we need to change the text of course <clears throat> But this is a way of how can we deal with every single sound so we can even add something add options We can duplicate we can delete sound. So let's delete all these sounds here So as you can see, this is the option of how can we uh, do this for the, every single video so we can even delete it for the second video and so on so uh, this is the way of how can we deal with sense uh, here and also what is interesting is that we can click on more right up here 
we can deal with music so we can change the music from the stock library we can click here find the most suitable music as for us or we can upload it by ourselves right up here so just click on upload and choose it on our computer as you can see so from my files web address camera google drive and so on and also there is like other settings we can change for example sense transitions we can change it to random or the, like least like change the uh, video shape uh, background gradient and so on so sometimes it could be really you know uh, helpful as for us so we can just simply click on apply and it will be changed for all these sounds here so maybe it could be interesting as for you to you know create like some interesting uh, it's interesting videos or interesting part of the videos. So in order to uh, export, we need to edit every single video like this, and then just click on export. And as you can see, export with Vox Watermark, it's free. So we can just click on build videos, and it may take a little time until all the videos will be proceed. So let's wait for a little. And as you can see, the build process uh, is in progress. Uh, we need like uh, only to wait we don't need to like give them any attention so all we need to do is just to wait for a little until everything uh, will be done and uh, all our, of our videos will be ready to be exported and after that on this page we'll be able to you know uh, download all of our videos so you can just simply click on download all also i wanted to tell you about the paid plans as you can see they have like free of course and basic and pro What's the difference? The biggest difference is the number of video credits we can use. So for $30 per month, we can uh, export 100 video credits, like 100 videos. Also, there is like no watermarks. And basically, all the features are the same. In all the differences is in video credits we are getting for our, you know, um, for our money so we can also open this toggle here and as you can see yeah the biggest videos we can use is like the, num the, the number of them is like 100 and 500 here and monthly dynamic videos like 5000 and 25000 so all the features are available for both paid plans and for free plans also some of them are available and there is like also a lot of templates here and support as you can see. So this is the differences between paid plans and free plans. And I think if you're going to use it for a long time, it will be better for you to buy the paid plan because, you know, it's better to uh, like uh, use videos without watermark. Basically, that's all for this video. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like comment and subscribe if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below that's all i wish you a very very good day and goodbye guys